today, I want to dive into something absolutely essential for anyone in the film industry, headshots. Oh, don't ask me. Throw it. No, not that kind of headshot. We're gonna cover why headshots are important. Whether you're an actor or a filmmaker, your headshot is often the first impression you make in this industry. A good headshot communicates professionalism, personality, and can make you stand out in the sea of faces. It's not just a picture, guys. It's your calling card. A high quality headshot can make a significant difference. I just want you guys to think about it this way. Casting directors, agents, and producers, they look at hundreds, if not thousands of headshots and a well-shot professional image immediately will catch the eye and say that you're serious about your career. And of course, a cheap, poorly lit photo, on the other hand, can do more harm than good. No, 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 no! Yes, it is definitely worth the investment. You gotta learn to invest in yourself. You're building a business, you're building a brand. That's what it's all about. Which brings me to the next question. How do you find this right photographer for you? A good headshot photographer should have a track record of satisfied clients. But let me add something very important. If a photographer is using an iPhone or any phone for your headshot, let me just tell you guys to run the opposite direction. And I'm being dead serious. This is not professional, especially if they're charging you for it. There's so much more to a headshot than just snapping a picture with a phone. When it comes to industry standard headshots, there are a few key things to keep in mind. The focus should be on you. Your face should be well lit. The background should be simple and not distracting. And your expression should be natural, but engaging. It's also important that your headshot looks like you. Just don't overdo it with makeup and avoid all that heavy editing that changes your appearance because casting directors want to know what you look like when you walk into the room. They want to know what you look like just as you are because guess what? You are beautiful the way that you are. Let's talk about the orientation. Should you shoot landscape or vertical? The way I shoot headshots is in landscape and here's why. Let's say you're building your portfolio website you can't use a vertical crop for a cover image. But if you shoot in landscape, the possibilities are endless. You can crop it to one by one, three by four, four by three, whatever you actually need. And in my opinion, it's the new and better way of shooting headshots. The headshots should be from the shoulder up. You're literally shooting your head. Another key point, actors, do your research. Look up actors within the same genre you're pursuing. Here's why. Just like in the any business, there's a brand. It's important to build your brand from the get-go. Your headshot should reflect your branding and your branding is tied to the genre you're aiming to go with. Whether that's drama, horror, thriller, or something else, I encourage you guys to study the headshots of actors in those genres so you know what you should expect and you shouldn't be doing. And finally, let's talk about red flags. If a photographer doesn't have a portfolio, that is a major red flag. And if the price seems too good to be true, guess what? It probably is. Remember, you're investing in your career, so this isn't the time to cut corners. Also, a headshot is shoulder to head. In the end, a great headshot is an investment in your career. It's about presenting the best version of yourself to the industry and making that lasting impression. Take the time to find a right photographer. Understand what makes a solid headshot and make sure it reflects who you are and where you want to go. Your headshot should tell a story. Let me know in the comments, do you have a headshot you're proud of? What was your experience like? And guys, as always, press that like button Press that subscribe button, click that bell notification icon to be notified for future videos to come. And as always, practice and create.